This is the fastest blitz in Madden 23. Damn! It gets instant sacks. Shuts down the run. It gets so much pressure your opponent won't even be able to complete a pass. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to go back to a defense that I haven't used in a while, and that is my multi-D defensive ebook, which to a lot of people is still probably the meta playbook to use in Madden 23. This playbook is very similar to the Broncos defensive playbook that I've been using lately, except it has one big difference, and that is the defense that I'm going to show you guys today. But before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more gameplays and defensive videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But if you want to see more right now from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and you can download them instantly to your phone, computer, or have them sent to the email of your choice. I started this game out on offense though, and I'm going to be using my Gunstack Y Flex offense for my New Orleans Saints ebook pretty much the entire game. I have several new one play touchdown setups for this that I plan to putting out in a future video. So if you guys want to see that video tomorrow, please hit the like button, let me know in the comments comment section. On this first play, my opponent is coming out in the weak box look, so I am going to take advantage with a few easy inside zone runs as I flip the field and get into enemy territory in just two plays. Then on the third play, I see a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with AJ Brown, so I take a shot, and the outcome looks oddly similar to what happened when the Eagles played the Steelers in real life. Who says Madden isn't realistic? On defense, the reason I switched back to this playbook and the topic of this video today is the dime normal formation, which is one of the best type of defenses to use if you're using a 4-3 defensive playbook. The play that I'm going to be using today is called the DB Blitz Zero. I have made at least one video about this defense in the past. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out, as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I'll show you guys some adjustments that I make throughout the video, but for now, just make sure you have a lot of speed in the blitzing quarterback spots. The setup for this defense is easy. I just pinch the defense, which is D-pad, to the left and down. And then I also slant them outside, which is D-pad, to the left and up. Other than that, you just want to get your blitzing cornerbacks down the line of scrimmage, which you can either do by pressing the cornerbacks, pinching the defense, or just walking them down manually. There are more adjustments that you can make to improve this defense against the run or pass specifically that I will go over throughout the video, but for now, this is the base setup. On the first play, you can see the inside run defense is pretty good due to the pinch defensive line. Nope. Now on the second play, based on the fact that it's now second and long, I expect them to pass, so I'm going to add one more step to the base setup, and that's to blitz the user middle linebacker and hover either the center or guard gap pre-snap before dropping back into coverage, as I'm hoping to pull a lineman so that one of the blitzing cornerbacks can get him free. I didn't even get to bring the cornerbacks down to the line of scrimmage, and you can still see the pressure we get from the blitzing cornerbacks. In fact, he blocked both tight ends, giving him a total of seven blockers to my only six rushers, and I still get an unblocked man in free for a big sack, knocking him back to third and 22 as he tries to throw it away. He tries to run a hurry up, you know, because it worked so well the first time, and I actually get the full setup in plus one more step since I know my opponent is going to pass, and that is the guest pass, which will send the blitzers directly after the quarterback and not bite on any play action to the running back. And you can now see that we get our fastest sack yet. Then on 4th and 26, he decides to go for it, you know, because it's Madden. And this time we get the pressure from the other side nope. as he forces the pass to fall incomplete. So now we are starting the ball inside the 10, and we make short work of this drive as we punch it in by using the inside zone once again. Now up a quick 14-0, we are already pinning our ears back. <laughs> And we are still getting in instantly, despite the fact that he is still blocking seven to try to pick up this blitz. He calls another hurry up, and the blitz gets in so fast this time that he can't even get the ball out to the running back in a swing route before getting swallowed up again by Avante Maddox for his fourth sack of the quarter, which I'm sure is an NFL record for sacks in a quarter since the single game records is seven, but I couldn't find anything to support that. So if you can figure that out, please let me know in the comments. Now, as good as the defense is against the Blitz, it does still have some weaknesses like crossing routes, slants, drags, and all the routes that typically beat man. Then on fourth and 10, he hits the running back, which is a route that the user is also responsible for, which can also be a problem. Last but not least, stretch runs can give this defense problems if you can get outside of the Blitz and cornerbacks, as the receivers will 
will turn their back and chase the receivers downfield away from the play as he gets a big carry to start the second quarter. All these things fall on the user though as you just have to be on point either in coverage or cutting off the outside run. On second down I'm a little late to do that and he gets a much bigger run. Then on third down the pressure makes the play once again and he goes for it on fourth down and hits his tight end on a corner route before hurrying me up and beating me in the flat while I was still trying to set up the blitz. Back on offense, I'm trying to score one play, but I'm not making the right read, so I had to throw it away on the first two downs. Then on third and ten, I see he's in a cover two man once again, so I switched to the PA read, which is one of the new one-play touchdowns I was talking about. Break yourself, fool! As he easily split the safeties to get back to a two-touchdown lead. Back on defense and back to the blitzes, I know my opponent has to pass to stay in this game. On the first down, I take away the running back this time and Devontae Max gets his fifth sack of the game, which might be a record for sacks and a half. Then on second and 20, the pressure forces another incomplete pass before he goes back to the tight end route on back-to-back -back plays to beat my best man coverage safety for a first. On the next play, I am usering under that route and he is now taking the deep in route as there's a lot of routes that beat man coverage on this play, despite the pressure getting in just about every single time. He then goes back to the stretch run and this his entire offense has already devolved into just this stretch run play and the level sales play as he gets inside the 10. Then once inside the red zone, we switch to our run defense, which works on the first play before we get some weird man BS as the defender slows when I switch on despite having Pickett hemmed in at the sideline and I have to take a seven point lead in the half. It doesn't last long though as he comes back out in that stretch and takes it to the house on the first play of the second half to tie up the game. My offense quickly responds though as I take the first play of my drive to the house with that simple inside zone once again to take the lead right back. Anything you can do, I can do better. Now I know I should probably be switching up my defense, but to this point I was pretty much only choosing this play because I'm trying to make a video about this defense. And I'm also trying to break the sacks record in the game. So I wanted to keep calling this defense, but once I saw that he comes out in the gun tray, I decided to switch over to the quarter normal under smoke, which gives me a break from having to use the running back, and we can finally stop every round in this play. But this defense struggles with the stretch run the exact same way that every man zero blitz does, and he gets the first down anyway. I'm still getting pressure though, and he is now getting every catch animation before going back to pounding the rock, so I decided to switch out to his zone coverage. It works on the first play before he diagnoses it, then on the second down, he gets an easy first down. So I decided to go back to the DB Blitz Zero and live and die by it because at the end of the day this is for a YouTube video after all. On the next play he tries to run back again only this time I'm all over it for a 5 yard loss. Then he goes right back to that corner route on the level sale which my safety obviously can't cover. So on the next play I make an adjustment where I user the other blitzing cornerback who isn't doing as much on the blitz anyway as I try to cover under the tight end. This adjustment also allows me to not have to use the running back anymore and the pressure still gets him pretty good but definitely not as fast as before as he takes the in route check down once again before trying to run the inside zone which is one of the type of run plays that this defense will stop before going back to the level sail play and winning with the check down for a score to tie the game. On the next drive, I'll show you guys some adjustments that I finally make that will take away some of these routes. Back on offense, he's been using weak box defenses the entire game, so I will take the inside zone for easy yards every single time I see it. So I keep taking the inside zone until he changes his defense. Then once he comes out in a 3-4, I switch to a pass for an easy catch and run. He is now using a lot of cover three defenses, so I switched to the Y sale, which is another play that I just put on a previous video. I will have a link in the description at the end of the video if you guys missed that and want to see it. Then I see he is in cover one man, so I switch to the sale and pivot and get an easy touchdown to take the lead back. My first adjustment is to shade underneath and shade inside, which you can see is doing a much better job against stopping the tight end, but still isn't stopping the in routes. He starts using the inside zone more and having success. He then goes back to the stretch run formation, but instead tries to run it inside as we finally have that bottled up. He then hits me with a play action on fourth down, and I am just a step late from ending this game. Oh, he almost had it. He comes back out of the stretch run formation again, only this time I accidentally chose a cover three cloud. I get the stop in the first play, but he hurries me up like he has all game, and I try to switch over to something else, but I end up in a vanilla cover one, which of course he takes to the house. Damn it! And now it is tied again with under two minutes to go. I was thinking about killing the clock once again, but on the next play, the blocking just paves the way for an easy touchdown to take the lead back. Oh.
And when I see the gun tray formation, I finally decide to make an adjustment that I probably should have made a long time ago as I put Slay, my best cornerback, in at the safety spot, hopefully to lock down that corner route from the tight end. And I go right back to the DB Blitz Zero, which I probably haven't used a lot since the first half. I'm going to use the strong side blitzing cornerback again for extra coverage, and on the first play, we still get enough pressure to force him to throw it away. Then on second down, the pressure is instant, forcing him to throw it up for what probably should have been an interception. No! On third and ten, he switches it up and hits the running back underneath to reset the downs before trying to go back to the corner route tight end, which is now completely locked up from Slay. And now he is trying completely new plays this late in the game that the pressure is just blowing up. On third and ten, he is trying desperately to get that corner route back, and I'm just surprised that we haven't gotten an interception yet before getting another lucky first down. He tries that stretch run one more time but this time I cut it off from the start and he has to go back to that corner route which Slay has been all over once again. Now with 31 seconds left he knows that Titan is locked up so he switches plays completely and tries a vertical route over the middle. Nope. But the pressure forces a bad pass once again, and that's all she wrote, is my opponent immediately rage quits before the ball even hits the turf. See ya! So, that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have videos of some of the offenses and some of the defenses that I was using throughout this gameplay popping up on screen. So, if you guys want to check them out, I'm sure it will help out your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Way shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.